Okay, so when doing the observer, I often talk about feel the feelings and the observer. And uh, in my own experience, uh, if something is coming up, if it's something, if it's an intense feeling, I may start off with feel the feelings just to soften up the energy of the uh, energies that are strong. Uh, and then as it softens up, then I'll probably go to the observer, to the witnesser of what's left as it dissolves, even though uh, they can both be used at any time. So the observer. So the observer is become aware of uh, one way is just to, is just to experientially get a reading, experience what, how do you experience yourself right now? Are you experiencing yourself as a body? Are you experiencing yourself as thoughts? Are you experiencing yourself as a limited uh, identity? So just get a read. Are you a mixture of thoughts and body and feelings? So just experience, what are you right now? What am I? What is it? Am I a body? Or do I experience myself as a limited body, as a limited feeling, as a, as a limited sele selection of thoughts? Am I all in the head? So just get a reading. And then whatever it is, like if it's a feeling, then that feeling is an object. And if a feeling is an object, it has a limited, uh, should we say, width or diameter or whatever it is. So let's say, let's say there's a ball in the stomach. It feels like there's a ball of fear or, or a knot in the stomach. Well, then something is observing that. The observer of that ball is the observer that's observing the limits of that, of that object. Is that limited by them? No, it's not, because it's observing the object. So the observer which observes the limits is bigger than the object which is observed. Just like if I put a hand up and I observe my hand, the observer of the hand is not the hand, because the hand is just an object. The observer observes the limits of the hand. What about the body? Are you identified with the phys physicality of the body? Is there a sense of, of the shape of the body? Well, then what's observing the shape of the body? Is that which is observing the shape of the body uh, limited by the shape of the body? No, it's not. But is the observer of the body, does it have any interest or any relationship with the body? Is it an interested observer? Is the observer slightly enmeshed or hooked with the body? If it is, then there is an observer of that observer. Is the observer of an interested observer, does that observer have any interest? Now remember, as you observe something, as you go to the detached observing of a body or, or of your thoughts or of a feeling, uh, as the identification drops, as the meaning drops, as the interest drops, it starts to dissolve and then it finally disappears. So if you go to the observer of the body, then the pure observer of the body is bodiless. There should be no aspect or remnants of the body. If there is, if there's some kind of relationship, the observer is still interested in the body, then there is that which is witnessing that observer which has no interest in the body. And then you'll, you'll find that the body will no longer exist for you. Because if there's no hooking into something, it ceases to exist. What about time? Is something keeping track of time? Like one second gone, two seconds gone. Well, what's observing time? And what observes time? What observes the interest in time? Go to that and then go to the observer of that. And then you are into the observer where there's no interest or hooking into time. And then you'll find that time does not exist. So you have the observer where, which is bodiless, with no interest or hooking into the body. You have the observer which is timeless, where there's no tracking or interest or hooks into time. Uh, if, there is any, if there's any interest in thoughts, uh, thoughts seem to be passing something, in, in, are they, in, thoughts seem to be passing in a location? But then what observes all thoughts? Is the observer, uh, something is observing thoughts because thoughts are discrete, they're just passing by, or if they're passing by in the head, something is observing the head and the thoughts in the head. And then what's observing that observer? And as you go to the observer, as you go to the non-interested, non-identified, observe of thoughts, thoughts cease to exist because now there's no hooking or interest in any, any thought. So it's almost like as you go into the deep observer, thoughts disappear. 
and in fact they are meaningless and uninteresting. So now you have, it's thoughtless. What if there are pictures coming up? If there's a picture coming up in consciousness, and there's that which observes pictures. So go to the observer of the picture, and then go to the observer of that observer, and then the picture will cease to exist. So as you go deeper and deeper into the observer, or the deeper observer, or the witnesser of that, pictures cease to exist, thoughts cease to exist, the body ceases to exist, time ceases to exist. If there's a feeling, if there's any kind of feeling or sensation, there is that which is observing the feeling or sensation. They're just like sensations come and go. Uh, sensations or energies are changing slightly. And that which observes the coming and going of feelings, the coming and going of sensations, that is not a feeling or a sensation or a passing feeling. So, and then you dissolve. As that space opens up, the feeling dissolves and disappears away. And as you go to the observer, you might come to a field of much more expansion. But even if you're feeling expanded and limitless now, if there's any sense of limit to the expansion and limitlessness that is experienced, there is that which observes the expansion, the limitlessness. So what's witnessing that? Go to that, and that should dissolve all limits, and all, all senses of contraction should dissolve away into that which is beyond time, beyond thought, beyond body, beyond sensations, and beyond feelings. And if any trace remains, go to the observing or the witnessing of any trace. So let's do this now for about uh, 10 minutes and just keep observing and going deeper into that silence.